my name's Harriet, I'm 24. Yeah, the top's pretty. What do you think? What do you want? What's number one? Well, I think you need to be comfortable. Me and my mum are really close. We always have been. I tell her everything, bar the things that you shouldn't ever tell your mum. And you want buttons rather than corsets? Buttons rather than corset, definitely. She'll probably be the most vocal because she cares the most, I would imagine, and she wants it to be perfect. I think that would suit you. Well, anything would suit you. But... <laughs> Thank you. She's my eldest daughter, so this is the first time I've had the experience of being the mother of the bride and trying to support my daughter to make an amazing choice. Hi, ladies. Hi. 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 Who's my bride? Hi. 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 Nice Hi. to meet Hi. you, Harriet. Who have you got with you today, Harriet? I brought with me today my mother, because she wouldn't forgive me if I went wedding dress shopping without her, and I really value her opinion. That's my... Oh. Charlotte. Sister Charlotte. Charlotte. Sister. Rachel. 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 Sister-in-law to be. Rachel. And Rachelle. Rachelle. And best friend from Scotland. Oh, lovely. What a lovely group. Tell me a little bit about your fiancé. My fiancé's name is Steve, and we met in Germany oh. two and a half years ago. We were just on holiday there. We or... went out there to ski over New Year. We spent a week um, hanging out and getting to know each other, and it sounds really corny, but I knew we were... That was it. I was... That was him. Just kind of did, and it sounds... So vomit worthy. But it's true. He's the most amazing person I've ever met, as soppy as it sounds. And he's great. He's all right, you know. <laughs> Sorry. So tell me, when's your wedding? Summer next year. I'm getting married in the church that I was christened in, that I went, grew up going to. It's kind of pretty much opposite my parents' house. And then the venue for the reception is a manor house that's been turned into an art gallery. What, have you had any idea of sort of dress that you'd like to wear, like how you'd like to look on the day? I think so, I do. I want it to be quite classic, elegant, traditional, and I think I'm pretty sure I want a relatively slim silhouette. Definitely some sort of sleeves. So how important is it to you that your mum loves your dress? What she thinks is, is really important. I just have this great belief that we will, we will have a gut feeling. I trust her opinion a lot, but essentially, actually, it's got to be my decision. Do we have a budget that we want to stick to? Probably no higher than about 2,000, 2,500. Harriet, you're off to the dressing room and I'm going to get shopping. OK. Harriet's looking for something slim fitted with sleeves. And I think for a church wedding, a classic lace gown would be perfect. And be sure to please mum. What do you think? I love the sleeves. The sleeves are beautiful. They're really stunning. And I love the keyhole back. I think that's really nice. I like the wow factor of this dress. I do feel pretty. I feel like all eyes would be on me. But it isn't right. I like the top, but I don't know... I don't know if it's a bit too high, a bit too covered. Do you spin you around? Yeah. <laughs> I do think you look lovely. That bit of cover has given you confidence. It looks very elegant the top. I think this dress is beautiful. Ladies, what do we think? It's quite old-fashioned. You're too young for it. I'm not, not a fan. I just think it's just maybe too much material. Yeah, that makes sense. I think sleeves with the lower neck would be a good balance, yeah. or shorter sleeves and higher neck, maybe. But I think it is. I think it's a bit too, a bit too prim and proper. <laughs> Mums often prefer the more classic styles, but if these two are going to agree on a dress, she's going to have to embrace a more youthful look. So we've got this one to try next, which is completely different, it's completely strapless, and it's got a really nice sweetheart neck. Harriet's also very keen to get her mum's approval on the dress, and she's certainly got it with dress number one. But Harriet found the high neckline rather matronly. So we're going to move on to a similar style that's more open on top. What do you think your mum will think of this dress? I wonder what she'll think about the plunging bit. Although it's covered, I wonder if she'll have something... I think she'll have something to say about that. What do you think? I really like the top, the sweetheart neckline. It's a lot less prim and proper than the other one. It's a lot more showstoppery, wowy. Ladies, what do we think of this dress? I think that's too open. I told you. <laughs> we did say. <laughs> <laughs> we did say Mum's not going to approve of the top. I think that when Harriet walks into church, the focus will not be on Harriet's radiant face. I can't stop staring at your boobs, as I say. <laughs> and that's not what you want people to say on your wedding day. I just don't think it's very you. Not the one. 
So I think we've gone too far in the other direction with this one. Back to the dressing room. I'm going to pull some more options for us. Hello. Hello. Harriet and her mother are both going to love this next dress, I think. Long sleeves plus a sweetheart neckline make it the perfect combination of both their styles. How are you feeling? <laughs> um, I'm quite tired. I think it's quite a lot to take on and a lot to do, but I want, I like this, I really like, this dress is beautiful and I want to see what they think. Oh, that's pretty. Aww. Should we turn you around to see what your friends and family think? It's so much better than all the rest. Yeah. I think it's just beautiful. I, I'm like 99% love it, which is really high. <laughs> I think my mum is holding back from saying how much she loves it because she wants to know that I do first. How are you feeling? I look more like a bride with a veil. <laughs> I do look more like a bride, and that's kind of scary in a good way. <laughs> yeah, it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. She looks amazing. She looks so gorgeous. Love it. So how do you feel in this dress, Harriet? I feel lovely in it. It is a beautiful dress. So, can I ask you the question? <laughs> yes. You can Harriet, ask me the question. are you saying yes to the dress? Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I just, it's a lot to take in. I think I need to step back from it before I commit. I wanted to grab her and hug her and give her a glass of water and say, it's fine, it really is fine. I think you're overwhelmed. I think you are. I think we're all overwhelmed <laughs> because we, we are so close and we might be there, but we are potentially gowned out. I'm really happy and I really love it, but there is that still. I'm, I don't have the gut reaction. I don't have the, you are 100% meant to be with this dress. So if you're not getting that feeling, then that's absolutely fine. So go away and, and have a think about everything. I think so. <laughs> I've definitely taken steps forwards, even if I haven't taken the definite yes step.